beach resort is Snow Central. Family day weekend was sun, fun and more sun. Lots of people made their way to the peaks this weekend to celebrate with their families. Hi, I'm Carissa. People of all ages skied, boarded, skated, snowshoed and much more at the mountain. Congratulations to the Jamesons who held a family reunion at the resort to celebrate their 50th anniversary. Calabogie Peaks is very proud of the on-site adaptive ski program. Liz Murphy recently interviewed Andy Van Grunspen about the program and some interesting guests at the Peaks. Andy, what a day to be at the Peaks. Oh my gosh, sun, it's warm. It's beautiful and the conditions are excellent, excellent. Just like spring skiing. It now, is. Andy, you are an adaptive skier. What does that mean? I am a, uh, a sit skier. I'm a C7 quadriplegic. I busted, I broke my neck and uh, I ski in, in a sit ski, a, a mono sit ski. You can have two skis or one and uh, yeah, that's how I'm getting up and down the mountains here and, and carving it up. Well, you're more than that because you're a mentor, you're a teacher, you uh, race, you're a father, you're a husband, you're nationally ranked in Giant Slalom. Yes. Yeah. So we had a really, really uh, wonderful program here last week. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Uh, we had soldiers on. It was our second uh, event we had. We started out last year with, I think, six soldiers, and this year we had 12, but a couple couldn't make it. We had 10, and it was super, super successful. We, uh, we had some soldiers here at the beginning of the week that couldn't ski, and they were terrified of of tackling the, the hill here and by the end of the week they were full on athletes ripping it up and just loving it so we, we really uh, and they're going to be coming back so we've uh, we've uh, introduced some new skiers to, to Calabogie. Love that and uh, it, it just is such a highlight for their um, partners to be with them and to see it know that this is a family sport for them. Yeah we had the wives out too they some of them even tried to sit ski and we uh, oh it was just just a ball all week it was a success all around. Great. Uh, and uh, the Chief of Defense came out. That yeah. was exciting. Yeah, we had yeah. breakfast and uh, watched the fellas ski. It was amazing. Uh, tell us a little bit about the CADS program here. Uh, the CADS program's been, uh, I believe, eight Eight years that's been involved. I was one of the, I was one of their first students, I guess, or one of the, in the first program. A lot of crashing here for a couple, uh, one year, I guess. But I, uh, I progressed, and they were uh, fantastic. Lots of volunteers. We have approximately 75 volunteers, 45 students every Sunday. And uh, really great program. And now I'm an instructor and uh, one of the crew, and we have uh, we're having great success with lots of students of all all different disabilities. Awesome. I think thank you so much for all the work you do here. Uh, Where is your next big, big race? I have uh, a, a race next week, Ontario, it's the Ontario Championships, but then uh, Nationals, so we'll be uh, in uh, Nationals this year, it's going to be in Quebec, Mount St. Anne and Le Massif, so uh, I'm looking forward to that. I've had success this year already in racing and uh, it'll be fun to get, uh, to get back into the racing aspect. But I've been having great training right here, right here in Calabogie last year. I just trained here last year. Went to nationals and kicked butt, so it's uh, <laughs> it's everything I need to uh, in order to train. All right, sure. we're cheering you on. So all the best. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks. 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 Than